Hey guys, it's me, Meteor. Here we are back to Kirby's Squeeze Cloud. Here we are level 5, Vocal Volcano. And there's no rhythm or sound based things in this at all. But, uh, there you go. Oh boy, fire. I wonder what I do. Hmm. Ow. And, ta da. Just wait. Wait for it. And hey, we got ourselves magic and a Maxim Tomato. Lovely. All is well. Give me that throw ability, baby. Yeah, throw. Hit the switch. Break those. Pretty simple. Throw. Break these. Yes. Die, everyone. Today, we get a treasure chest. Yay. Let's throw a party! <laughs> okay, alright, let's get out of here. Nope, you die today. Everyone should die. Hmm. Alright, I'm gonna have to actually grab uh, Cupid for this. I mean, technically I could do it with throw. I've done it before. But I don't feel like doing that right now. Yay! Aw. Dang it. Dang it. Ugh. Might have been easier with throw at this point. There we go. Was a pep brew, which I didn't really need, but. Let's just keep this in the meantime. You die, you die. Yay! And now we got our second treasure chest. Let's get rid of this, I don't need it. Yay, Kirby's floating. How nice and wonderful. Let's get rid of that now, we don't need it. All that's left now is, oh. Oh, you're jumping down a pretty good distance. Are, are you committing suicide? <laughs> you would rather kill yourself than let that treasure go. F Man, that's that's dedication. You know, let no one shall get it. If I can't get it, no one can. I will take this though. See ya. Yay! Yay! Okay, we got another star seal. Ooh, a parasol scroll. Wonder what that's going to be. Hmm. Let's go into area two now. Ooh, I see fire geysers. Doesn't really matter because you float above them because I have the UFO. Yay! I think I'm actually going to need that, but whatever. I'm going to enjoy myself as I can in the meantime. Alright, let's see what I- Ow! You know what? I probably don't need that UFO anyway for now. I believe I do need something else. Ah, yes. How do I do this again? I have to grab one of these. Okay. You die. You die. Ah. There we go. Perfect. You have to be- you have to play that very carefully. Make sure you actually hit the switch, and there you go. You need fire to actually rake it. Thankfully, they give you the ability that you need right in the room you need it in. But for this, go over here to the right, all the way to the- ow. Jerk. And... Ooh. What's over there to the top left? Actually, I don't- I, I think I'm thinking of the wrong room. In fact, I'm almost pretty sure I'm thinking of the wrong room, but actually- Pretty sure there's nothing over here. I think I have a different room entirely. I am. Yay! Hooray for not remembering stuff. Yay! That's gonna be later. Ow. That's fine. I have a, so much HP at this point, it doesn't even matter. Nothing matters. What is life? What does anything matter anymore in this grand scheme of things? And now we have metal. Yay! 
Look at that excitement. Forget it. You know, going at two miles an hour, that's that's what you call that's what you call greatness. Hmm. Let's see, which, which door was it again? Was it this door or was it the other door? I think it was this door. It was! Alright. Hit this switch, break that down, hit this switch, and break that down, and... So you shot those, shooting very slowly, and our second treasure chest. Ooh. And thus, everything is fine. I almost got killed by a bomb. That would have been unfortunate, but, uh, them's the breaks. Oh, man. Too bad I... If only I had beam. Thank goodness it's right there for me. Yay! You die. You all die. Yeah, you just... You just stay uh, knocked out. That's fine too. And we win! Hooray! That was exciting. Almost thought I was gonna lose it that time. <laughs> Not really. What's inside these three chests? We got another spray paint, a hammer scroll, and a graphic piece. Ooh. Let's go ahead and use that new spray we just got. Let's see, which one was it? It was... this one? Ivory! There we go. That is actually one of the new colors, if I'm not mistaken. That is definitely a newer color, so that's cool. There you go. We have not seen this one before, but now we will. You know what? Let's see. Hmm. Oh. Well then. Alright. Sword. Take sword. Oh, boss rush mode. How about this way? Face this way. Come on, buddy. You got this. Come on. Come up here, and then you're gonna jump up. Pretty much what Bonkers always does. You're gonna just throw me a seed, and you die. I will take that hammer ability, though. Now, with our ability scroll, we can charge it up and do that. Ooh, massive damage. More damage than ever thought possible. Hoo ha! We got a first treasure chest. Quite simple. Let me see here. Look at that power. And then we're gonna go scrap the animal. Yay! Notice a trend? We need to use each new ability we get to get the treasure in each per. per room. I can't think of the word. Let's go rid of animal, because animal's terrible. Ooh, I forget the name of you. You're not, you're your name's definitely not Orbilon. That's, uh, that's a different game, actually. I, I was... Why did you go that way? I, I, I was over here. mini boss ever. I almost actually got hit there for a second. Now we need metal! Yeah, I need to stick with metal, but you do need this ability for something right there. Wait for it! So close! Almost there! Yay! And fun fact, unlike rock, uh, yeah, you're unlike rock, Metal doesn't actually work against mini bosses or bosses in general. So therefore, you're not invulnerable to them at all. It has no invincibility frames when you've actually faced bosses. So essentially against bosses, it's completely useless. But that's the thing. Now you gotta actually destroy him to actually wait for it. Come on. And you're dead. Of course, you can't actually heal him, and there's actually a... He's just going to explode. Yay! And now we just climb to the top, and there's our exit. Yay! Alright, what's in one of these chests? Alright, we got another vitality piece, a ninja scroll, and a graphic piece. Let's go to area four now. 
All right, Twaddle D starting us off, and I guess there's gonna be an animal ability we need to grab. This isn't it. This is Tornado. Where can I find an animal? Oh, thankfully there's one right there. Man, wouldn't that kind of be annoying trying to grab an ability from another level to go in here to do that? Man, it would almost be like you actually tried to actually, you know, make it difficult to find some of these treasure chests. To be fair, though, it is kind of annoying sometimes having to go in there in the first place to try and grab an ability. But to be fair, that was kind of half the fun of, like, Dreamland 3 and uh, 64, was actually going to all those other areas to actually bring abilities in there. It was fun. It actually, you know, made you think. Sure, I got kind of not into sometimes, but that's a thing. Whatever. I'm just gonna grab the ice. I don't believe I need it for anything, but just in case I do, there it is. I feel like I missed a treasure chest already. I'm almost positive, in fact, but oh, uh, sorry, I can't actually, I can't actually inhale those. Hey, look at us, we're actually able to stop that fire up there, and if you, didn't already, if you didn't already see the ability scroll, with the ability scroll we could actually aim up and down, just like the fire. I forget if I went over that or not. Hmm. I think I will need beam, though, actually. Ooh, but you even saw the parasol ability. I haven't shown that off yet. Oh. Ow. Fine. I wanted to show off Parasol. Yeah, let's try this again. So what's the new ability here? If you look here, if you press B and hold, it does this! Whee! Exciting. But... I think, that thing felt like a long distance. Sprite didn't die, actually. Hmm. Such is the life of a waddle do, I guess. You gotta do what you gotta do. <laughs> oh man. I'm not quite sure how to get that. Uh, running directly into it is definitely not the not the answer, so we got that down. Oh yeah, ice. No, ice would Ice would actually just freeze the blocks, but you couldn't actually break through them unless you use another ability, so and then it would just make more lava. this. Be careful though, you don't want to hit every single switch. Like this one in particular, we don't want to fall. Let's go inside here though. No! Let's try that again. <sighs> this was a switch I didn't want to hit. Why? Alright, well, I'll be back for that. I just getting stuff mixed up. Such is life. All is well. It's fine. That was really easy to grab as long as you didn't play Trigger Happy, but hey, yeah, it's fine. Things happen and stuff. Okay, you want to hit this switch? Okay. Hmm. I'll go, I'll go back down there Hold up. There we go. Of course, there's nothing in here. I'm sorry. There we go. See, nothing there. But you'll be going back down, so that's... I fell for that, like, twice now. There we go. Alright, let's just... Haha. -ha. Thankfully, I can reach! Yay! No problems needed. Now, let's see. You have to kind of jump with this and actually hit the... from up there and do that. And you don't even have to go back around because it doesn't close you off, but there you go. Second treasure chest would be the first one if I would have grabbed it. Ooh, gotta be quick. It. 
Ah, uh, you escaped just in the nick of time. No, give me my UFO. I want the UFO. Fine, you know what? No UFO is needed. Man, look at all that food you dropped. All you take is two hits. That's pretty pathetic. To be fair, Doc's more of a scientist rather than uh, a bully, a, a burly person. There you go, that's what I'm trying to go with. Alright, well, now we can finish this up at least. Oh, we have a sword guy blocking that. Ow. Yay! Hey, hey, back to full health. Not gonna complain too much. So, we got a secret door key and a spray paint red. Alright, we're making ourselves a new color. But we also unlocked the EX stage. Let me go ahead and get that other treasure chest in here first. Alright, let's try this again. Haha, -ha, there we go. Alright, so let's see what ability, or let's see what's in this chest here. Wait for it. We got another secret math piece. Interesting. Either way, let's go to the EX stage. Now, this one kind of works like a puzzle. Except you want to, it's not really hard, very hard of a puzzle. You start from the left and go all the way around. This door to the bottom right is pretty much useless, so don't go in that one. So this one here, you'll see that metal spot right there. If we want that metal ability, we have to actually go all the way around to actually grab it. So there's that. Ow. Wait for it. There we go. And then, metal! Yay! No more meddling affairs. In case you were wondering what is inside this room, you pretty much get the ice ability and you also get a one up. But you don't need the one up, you don't need the ice ability in here at all. Wait, no, hold on. I'm, doing, I'm going backwards. This is the room that we needed metal for. There we go. And we get hammer in here. I was wrong, it doesn't just go in a circle. For some reason, I was remember that incorrectly. By the way, metal is also immune to fire, which is odd because some blocks you can only break that are metal with fire and whatever. Point is, you just walk around here, get this little treasure chest there. Still unfortunately blocked by that lava. Can't really go much further beyond that. And now we could just get disability. Well, first let me, uh... Let's see, what's in this one? Do I want disability for anything? Nope! It flew away. Can I? Oh, I can still do that. Alright, well, that's, that's fine, too. Oh, let's have to do this more boringly. Otherwise, you would have gotten him if you didn't waste your time horribly, like I did. Now, you can pretty much go in it. What? The right route is pretty much right, right, right. Ha, <laughs> the right route. Get it? But seriously, um, pretty much all the other ones are just useless, but still. We still have to deal with this. would be so much more fun if I wasn't metal. There's a cherry there. Woo. Ah, we're blocked. That's unfortunate. Why did I mess up that hammer? I hate this ability so much. It's so slow. How about this way? There we go. There's, that's what I'm looking for. Let's just switch to this. Yay! Wait, I messed up, didn't I? Yes, you messed up. You needed that keep it ability. Alright, uh, maybe I could get that here. Oh, dang it. Well, hold on, maybe I don't even need the keep it ability. If I go in here, and... Ah. Quickly! I 
could just pretty much stand here the entire time. You can't even do anything to me. Which is sad. Oh, they're actually smart. You're actually not going anywhere close from that. You're gonna throw a ninja star at me? I, want to I do want to show off the ninja ability. Guess not. It's not gonna do much of anything, really. Oh, that's right, I uh, apparently knocked out your your grip. Whatever, no big deal. I'll just use ice. I guess I didn't really need that cupid ability after all. I don't know why I thought I did. I don't know. Hmm. I thought the exit would be there. No, the exit's over here, that's right. There we go. Exit is over here. I'm just remembering incorrectly all around. Either way, there's the exit. We got all three chests. It doesn't matter. Yay! We have a new copy palette. Hmm. And we also got the sleep scroll. Now, that's one thing this game did well that I really do appreciate. They made a use out of the sleep ability. But first, let's go ahead and change our color here, which I forgot to do already. There we go, red. Let's also change our copy palette. Which one did we unlock? Uh, this one here, animal print. Eh, why not? It's, it's new. New and improved or something. What boss do we have here, though? Hmm, we're in volcano level. There's not any familiar Kirby boss that's been, that's fire that we all know and love. So who can it be? It's Batify- I mean, uh, <coughs> Bobo. Yes, it's a fire owl. Yay. Not really all too difficult. Just keeps the same pattern. When it does that, you just want to- Every so often it'll drop rocks. And I keep on forgetting to jump and do that. If you don't actually grab up- If you don't actually jump up in time when he does that, you will pretty much just get grabbed by him, and then it'll just throw you up into the lava. And that's what you want to do. But of course, if he doesn't hit the ground, he'll just run off the screen completely unharmed. Otherwise, he just throws fire here. Ah, uh, you got me that time. You got me that time. Good job, Bobo. It's actually spelled B-O-H-B-O-H, -H, not just uh, like Bobo the Clown or anything like that. Ooh, close. Ah, I keep forgetting to jump and shoot it back at him. You know, if you don't wanna... If you hate, uh, unseen stuff, take a look at his, uh, underneath his beak. It looks like a giant mouth that's just smiling. <laughs> Rather than just, uh, his beak. Just... Kind of looks like a mouth. I don't know. Can't really unsee that after you see it. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> he looks more malicious, though, when he's like that. This boss will go right down with Pawn and Khan as being possibly the, one of the most unmemorable bosses in part of all the entire Kirby franchise. I mean, can anyone say, oh man, I loved facing Bobo. He was... He was cool. Like, one of my favorite Kirby bosses of all time. Yeah, no. You, you just... At least Pi Ribbit is memorable, because Pi Ribbit, as horrible as he was of a boss, you remembered how horrible of a boss he was, because he kept on staying in the background forever! But, you still remembered him. This one's just... not fun. Okay, you could do something now. Alright, give me a rock. One more hit and you should be dead. And... dead. Yay! We did it! And of course we get another boss badge, because those are always fun and great. 
And now we're going to World 6. Which is Ice Island. Hmm. So it's like Antarctica then. That's interesting. I mean, I heard it could be like a one giant island of sorts. Anyway, with that, we are done with uh, this level, I guess. So next time in Kirby's Creek Squad, we'll be doing level 6. See you guys then.